Today, our verse is Hebrews chapter 9, verse 11. Christ appeared as a high priest of the good things that have come, then through the greater and more perfect tent, not made with hands, that is, not of this creation. In the Old Testament priesthood, Aaron and his sons were given the position of high priests. Read Exodus chapter 28. The high priest served in the holy place and the holy of holies of the tabernacle and later of the temple. When Aaron and his sons were given this responsibility, the Israelites were still in the wilderness. The tent of meeting was at the center of their life and worship. We read in Exodus chapter 27 verse 21, In the tent of meeting outside the veil, that is before the testimony, Aaron and his sons shall tend it from evening to morning before the Lord. It shall be a statute forever to be observed throughout their generations by the people of Israel. Exodus 27 verse 21. So we see how the tent of meeting was very central to the people. The temple was only built much later during the time of Solomon. So the religious duties of the priest and the high priest were carried out in the tent of meeting. The high priest made atonement for his own sin and that of the people. Read Leviticus chapter 16 verse 11. And offered sacrifices on behalf of the people. In the Old Testament, the animal was the victim. That is what is offered. But Jesus becomes the victim of the new covenant. Jesus is also the new high priest who offers the sacrifice. While Aaron and his sons were the high priest who offered the sacrifice in the Old Testament, Jesus is the new high priest. The letter to the Hebrews describes Jesus as the great high priest. He is the perfect and sinless high priest who identifies with our humanity. In our verse, the letter to the Hebrews says, Christ appeared as a high priest of the good things that have come. While the old order only offered temporary benefits, the sacrifice of Jesus Christ is redemptive and gives heavenly and eternal blessings. Therefore, we talk about better promises and eternal inheritance in God's kingdom. Read Hebrews 8 verse 6, 9 verse 15, 11 verse 1, and 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 4. The verse then goes on to say that through the greater and more perfect tent not made by hand, this phrase highlights the distinction between the tent made by human hands in the wilderness and Jesus himself in his sacred humanity. The church fathers see in the image of the tent the role the Virgin Mary played in bringing Jesus into the world, Mary being the tent or tabernacle which conceived Jesus. That is powerful. However, in the context, it is also very clear that the reference to the tent of meeting is the wilderness. In the old order, the high priest passes from the outer court into the Holy of Holies. In the same way, Jesus passes from his resurrection through his glorified body into the heavenly holy of holies. Read Hebrews chapter 9 verse 24. So the perfect tent grants pardon for sins, offers peace and sanctification, and gives us access to enter into communion with God through Jesus Christ. The sacrifices of the old covenant could not achieve all those things. We are fortunate to be part of the new covenant. Thanks to our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, we cannot thank you enough for offering yourself for our salvation. Thank you for giving us your body and blood to nourish us on our journey continually. Thank you, Lord. Amen. God bless you and enjoy the rest of the day.